We can always use a little more The Last Guardian in our lives, and Fumito Ueda's company Gen Design is teasing that we'll see the PlayStation 4 exclusive at Tokyo Game Show this week. The company tweeted, we are thinking about how to take Trico to the Makuhari in a new and different way. Trico, by the way, is the name of the cat bird or dog bird in the adventure game, while Makuhari is the name of the convention center for TGS. Yup, I'm liking the odds for another Last Guardian appearance and that makes me happy, which isn't easy on Mondays. The new boss of Nintendo is Satsumi Kimishima. That's right, the company announced that the 65-year-old will take over for the late Satoru Iwata, as he previously served as Nintendo's Managing Director, General Manager of Corporate Analysis and Administration Division, and Head of the Human Resources Division. And before that, Kimishima was the CFO of the Pokemon Company, President of Pokemon USA, and even President of Nintendo of America before Reggie fils -Aimé. So yeah, you could say he has a pretty good amount of Nintendo experience, but even so, until we know what his favorite Super Mario Brothers game is, I'm going to be cautious. It should be Super Mario World, by the way. Don't even try to argue me. So with Tatsumi and Kimishima taking over as Nintendo's president, where does that leave Shigeru Miyamoto and Genyo Takeda, who are overseeing the company after Iwata's death? While Miyamoto has been named creative fellow for the company, well, Takeda has become the technology fellow. That's pretty cool and makes me wonder if I can become IGN's pizza fellow. I can ensure no one has to eat cardboard tasteless pizza ever again. Plus, I'm sure I'll make more dough. Okay, I'm sorry for that. I know it's a bit cheesy. Look, I can't help myself, okay? November 10th may be the end of me. Yes, because Blizzard revealed StarCraft II Legacy of the Void will launch on that day for PC and Mac. If you didn't know, that's the same day Fallout 4 and Rise of the Tomb Raider are slated to release too. Ah, prepare accordingly, people. Now back to Legacy of the Void. There are three different editions for the standalone Protoss Focus Final Chapter. Along with the standard edition, you can grab the deluxe digital edition with bonus in-game items for Heroes of the Storm, World of Warcraft, and Hearthstone. Or you can pick up the collector's edition that comes with all of the digital in-game goodies, plus a hardcover field manual, the soundtrack, and a special features DVD. Very nice. Need for Speed is going to need a bit more time in the garage on PC. Yep, Electronic Arts and Ghost Games have announced they're pushing the PC version of the racing game back to spring 2016 to add an unlocked frame rate and improve the graphics. Ghost Games explained, this decision on PC gives us the necessary development time to increase the visuals that we can deliver on PC. We will also include content updates that will have been released on console up to that time, making them available to all PC players from that day one. As for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One editions, they're still on track to arrive in early November. Whether you want to shoot at aliens, take a 2017 Ford GT for a spin, or just become a professional hockey player, we have you covered. Here's everything we're excited about that's out this week. Oryx wants revenge in Destiny the Taken King, but Guardians were not going to let him have it. So gear up with new armor and weapons and get ready to blast away more aliens in the Shared World Shooters expansion. Go ahead, get revved up for Forza Motorsport 6. We here at IGN think the Xbox One exclusive is amazing, believing it's one of the best racing games you can find on consoles. Oh, puck yeah, NHL 16 is finally here. Take to the ice in this hockey game and help my Montreal Canadiens win the Stanley Cup again. But hey, maybe the rink is a bit too cold for you. Well then, you might enjoy the pitch in Pro Evolution Soccer 2016, which we think might be one of the best soccer games ever made. Senran Kagura 2 Deep Crimson on Nintendo 3DS is all about ninja girls kicking ass in a 2.5D side-scrolling brawler. Need I say more? And that's your daily fix for September 14th. I'm Naomi Kyle, and remember, you can get your fix anytime online at IGN.